Hey Kevin here from DIYDork.com. Today I want to show you a super simple trick to add age and texture to wood that really makes the grain pop out like an old piece of barn wood or even kind of like a pallet wood or you know beams that were in an old factory. It just has a really cool texture, makes it look a lot older than it is. It doesn't matter if you're using new wood or old wood, it'll work. It's super easy and it looks awesome. So check this out. Alright, so here is the board that I'm going to be using this method on. It's just a piece of pine I had down my basement. It's a plain Jane one by 6 It does have a couple of nail holes in it, and it even has a couple of scratches on there. But for the most part, it's untouched. And just to prove that it doesn't have to be an old board, I'm using a brand new one here. That's a cutoff from some project. I don't even know what it was. Probably the trim in our house when we did it. But you don't even have to use pine. It can be any kind of wood, and it can be of any age. It could be pallet wood. It could be barn wood, whatever. This method will work on it. So let me go ahead and pop the camera on the stand, and I'll show you how it works. It's really, really simple. All right, so first things first, you want to make sure that your board is clamped down nice and tight so that it's secure. It's not going to fly away from you whenever we start working on it. All right, the only thing you need to do this is a quarter drill. All right, I recommend that over a battery drill because I figure you'll probably run out of battery juice before you're done. Here's the secret right here. It's this uh, bristle brush that's made for a drill. Now you can also get them for angle grinders, you could even get it for like a bench grinder. But I got one for a drill because I figured you could kind of manage it a little bit easier. Plus it's smaller. It was only, I think it, I think it was a three inch bristle brush. Now I went in with the intention of buying a steel brush, but I realized that they also had brass brushes. And then there's even different sizes of uh, nylon. But I figured that brass would be pretty soft, but maybe a little more rugged than nylon, so that's what I went with. And it's only about three or four bucks, really, really cheap. Let me show you how to use it. This is really awesome. All right, so let me show you a couple of handling tricks real quick. All right, if you got your drill and you're going clockwise, you wanna take your brush and lean it to the right so you're using the right edge of the brush it just seems to uh, handle better because if you lean it the other way it kind of rips away or it leaves scratches all right then if you reverse it and now your drill is turning counterclockwise you want to lean it to the left and use that edge of the brush because otherwise like i said if you lean it the opposite direction it'll get kind of uh you know where you can't manage it too well so just remember if the drill is turning this way lean it to that side if it's turning that way lean it to this side you don't want to go straight down it's easier to manage on its edge all right now i wanted to show the board at this angle just so you can see how flat it is there's really not much texture at all to it and it's just like any one by six you'd buy at the store all right and i'm going to use my drill i'm gonna start off by going clockwise all right and i'm not going to use a lot of pressure i'm gonna let the brush do most of the work and i'm going to go over it like this maybe not totally just straight with the grain maybe just slightly askew to it you know just a little bit of a diagonal what it's going to do is all these little dark streaks of the the uh, grain they're a lot harder than the lighter colored ones so those will stay sticking up while it chews away the uh, softer parts and it leaves a lot of really cool texture now one more thing that's going to happen is you're going to notice that the bristles are going to leave kind of a swirl pattern they're going to kind of swirl like this they're all going to angle that way so when i'm done with that I will then reverse my drill and I'll go back over it, of course, leaning it the other way. And then the swirl marks will go this way and it kind of makes like little X's so that it looks, you know, really nice and uniform. So let me just show you. It's probably the best way to explain what I'm talking about here. Alright, so that was clockwise, and I don't know if you can see, but we're getting some really cool texture now. But see how those swirl marks, you can see them going this way? Now I'll reverse the drill, and it'll make the texture go a little deeper, and the swirls will go the other way.
All right, now check out all that texture and grain that we made pop out. Really, really cool. The uh, bristle marks are going both ways now and it just has that rough kind of barn wood look. The only difference now is that it's still that kind of pure white look of brand new wood instead of like grayed out or you know really dark from being in a greasy and grimy environment or whatever. Now one more thing, if you don't like how much texture this is there, you can take just a little bit of sandpaper, just go over it and just smooth it out a little bit and it'll get rid of some of it and then uh, put whatever finish you want. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll finish out the rest of the board and then I'll chop it into sections and then I'll finish it in a couple different ways and I'll show you what it can look like. All right, so I chopped up the wood, I put some finishes on them, but this piece I kept raw so you can remember what it looked like. You can see the really awesome texture and really, really cool look. Okay, this board right here, I put some clear coat on there. That's just clear lacquer. You can see how it deepens up a little bit. It gets a little more yellow. Um, if it was an oil-based stain, it would be even more orange and uh, golden colored. Okay, this one right here, I added homemade wood stain, and uh, that was super easy to make. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link to it. And uh, it's just a really cool look that you can change depending on how long you let the stain sit. And then this bottom half right here, I put some clear coat on it just to see what it looked like if it darkened up. All right, then I decided to get a little wild here. And uh, this is using my palette wood paint trick video idea. And uh, that's just to get that super raw, kind of grungy, um, factory looking uh, wood, you know, like it come out of a hundred year old factory that had like oil spatter on it and the paint has been coming off. And it's a really cool look. And that is the um, a light blue uh, palette wood paint trick uh, method. And then I put some homemade wood stain on there to get that look. Okay, this right here, I decided that since this wood has such great texture, it reminded me of barn wood, I decided to see if I could make something that looked like barn wood. So this actually has a homemade uh, color stain that's also extremely easy to make. I'll link to that video as well. I did it in a gray and then this like really thick piece of uh, grain here or whatever you want to call it. I dabbed some black paint on there and then just a little bit throughout and kind of wiped it clean and it has that really cool barn wood look. Okay now here is where everything gets extremely wild and uh, this is the palette wood paint trick in red and then instead of a gray color stain it has a kind of like a bright blue color stain over the whole thing and you can see where i sanded on the grain that it pops through and it's just that wood tone popping through so that's just a really cool look and i mean you could go crazy with something like that okay one last thing here is that new piece of wood i showed you that if you grind it down you get some really cool texture i mean compare that you almost can't see the grain here and here it really pops through and then I put a red mahogany stain and look how that green pops out. That is a really cool look. I mean, it almost don't look real. It looks like a, a cartoon drawing of wood, but super awesome. Okay, and then one last thing. If you wanna see what these samples would look like in real life in an actual you know, application, I built this table for a lady that bought the uh, Ikea tables that I built a little while back and I put um, pallet wood on top that went at a diagonal. Well, she wanted me to build a taller table for her little um, dining room in her apartment so I built this for her but this wood has the same thing and you have to kind of get down to see it but it has the same texture I didn't go as deep but just a really really cool look and this is reclaimed wood that I then you know used a brush on got a really cool texture and then I just put clear coat on it you can see how the color got really deep and gold and then this wood is uh, my leftover um, some of my leftover trim from the house whenever we uh, redid the windows we uh, pulled off all the trim and I had a whole bunch in the basement so I cut it down so that's all reclaimed wood and of course the, the bottom I've been testing out some pocket holes which I'll probably use in some future projects but uh, anyway that's a really cool table and uh, has this technique on it and just makes the wood have really awesome texture and you know a lot of age to it it really looks like it's some you know antique wood so anyway there you go really really cool method to put some texture and age on wood.